Are you tired of struggling to get your articles ranked on Google? Do you feel like no matter what you do, your competition always seems to be one step ahead? Well, it's time to level up the playing field. Introducing Surfer SEO, the tool that gives you an edge over your competitors and helps you rank your articles on Google. With Surfer SEO, you will have an access to in-depth analysis of what's working for your competitors and how you can make necessary optimizations to outrank them. So what are you waiting for? Take control of your rankings and start using Surfer SEO today. Join the growing number of content creators and marketers who dominate the search engine rankings with Surfer SEO. Welcome, I'm Kevin from Kevin Stats, and if you're new to this channel, Feel free to check it out. We do a lot of stuff on tools, blogging, and trying to get your articles to rank. I've created a whole website on this YouTube channel as well, and I'm always trying to do some new things. So if this sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe. Hope you like that quick intro. I just wanted to try something different, have a little fun with it. And in this one, we're gonna go through and be using Surfer SEO to create an article from scratch and get it ranking. Majority of the times when I do this, I do get the article ranking number one, as you just saw in the intro. So it's always interesting to do. And with this one, we're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna do this video for Surfer SEO, and then the next video is gonna be the same idea, but we're gonna use Page Optimizer Pro. And then I'm gonna have a third video after that, and I'm gonna compare the two and let you know what I think in multiple ways, not just as content editors, but primarily as the content editor, because right now, to me, these tools, the biggest value is getting it to rank number one. So if we can write articles and we can rank them number one, I did one pop tutorial a while ago and that did end up ranking number one. It took a while to do, but I've learned a lot about the tool and I know a lot of easier ways to get it to work now. So I think it's gonna really go smooth from here on out. With that said, we don't got time to lose because we got to write a whole article in Surfer. So let's get started and hit the computer. I am an affiliate of Surfer SEO. If you're interested in joining and checking it out, make sure to use my link below. It'll go through and get you the best deal available. Where he did how to clean a fog machine, I wanna do how to clean a haze machine. It's a little different than usual. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get some supportive content for my haze machine buyer's guide. So to do that, I need to write some more articles about haze machines and link them to them. This is kind of like a cluster or silo, basically sending some more traffic and some more signs that we know this topic well and the other article should move up by adding more of these. So I'll do this one on Surfer and I'll do another Haze supporting article on Pop and we'll see if we can get the overall article to move up. The last I checked a week ago, it was ranked seventh. Any few places could definitely help out in income. So it's a good thing. We're gonna do the title right away just to get that in. Let's go ahead and first check out the idea of how this works. If you're new to Surfer, your title will go here, and then we're gonna type the content in here. Before we start anything, we're gonna to need to go to our settings and customize it. But just a quick idea, this is your content score meter. Usually getting into green is good enough, so once you hit the green, depending how you feel about your article is depending if you wanna stop or continue on. If you're just hitting the green and you put a lot of work into it and you can't feel like you've done anything else, I think it's good. If you hit the green easily and you feel like you still have more to add, then I would keep going. So this score, I don't always take as it says because it's not always amazing to have 100%. 90% could technically outperform the 100%. Here it's going to say how many words it suggests, which is 1,044, which I am happy with because I'm glad it's not too much. Uh, headings, paragraphs, and images. We're definitely gonna add a good amount of images to this. I actually am doubling down on this website and I've purchased a haze machine to do video content for and also reviews and to take pictures of. I'm gonna purchase even more fog machines as it goes. Since the affiliate revenue has kicked up in this niche, I'm gonna be using my earnings to purchase newer fog machines 
and then reinvest. And hopefully as I do that, I make more and then I can purchase another one and maybe we can get the more expensive ones eventually. Right now I'm targeting ones around, you know, 40 to $60. So it's a, a good start. Since this is gonna be an info article, I do wanna try not to include products. However, there are products to clean fog machines. I've not put, entered them in because I feel like my site's not there yet. It needs a bit more time, topical authority, and everything before we can kind of add more links, I believe. So let's go ahead and talk a little more. After that, we have search. If you want to search for terms, we have all the terms that are listed. These are usually in order by priority, so you want to hit the top ones first. And I like to try to get one of everything that's definitely an important area. Looking over this, it's saying fog machine a lot. It's not mentioning the word haze, which is unfortunate because I think haze is very important. I'm not competing on how to clean a fog machine. I'm competing with how to clean a haze machine. I'm gonna probably do haze machine and haze fluid in my mind on this. So my score may not be as high, but I'll still hit this once in a while. Because there's no other articles on how to clean a haze machine, they are categorizing it the same as cleaning a fog machine. So it's very close on having like duplicate keywords, but however, I do think they're different, especially haze machines. If you're using more of a water substance, you're not gonna have as many chemicals in there. And I wanna let people know that as they go through in this article. So let's go through and take a look and see if it even puts it against us ourselves. I don't know, we're gonna find out quickly. Just scrolling through, we're not against ourselves. We're number 10 on how to clean a fog machine, or 11 it looks like, and the content score is a 63, so they don't have us in there. That might be one I need to go over with on Surfer since we are on the front page, so that's definitely something that I'll think about. But first we wanna go ahead and look at the haze machine here, how to clean a fog machine with pictures. I like that with pictures caption and that could be something we go after. WikiHow, interesting. Some people say don't clean machines. I think that was a, a long time ago. I feel like now they do. Froggy's Fog, how to clean your fog machine. They actually sell fluid on how to do it. So that is one of the people on Amazon that I may to sell their products. So for me, I don't know if I wanna push them directly as they're already big in this space and probably my biggest competitors because there's really not much competition in fog machines because it's a really small niche. And I thought because it was a small niche, it wouldn't be enough. But as I'm finding now, I think this is a solid niche for me. Is it going to make millions? No, no. But it, it'll be enough to keep things going and interesting. Yeah, looking through here, I think they picked the decent ones. I'm surprised. Again, I'm surprised they didn't pick ours, but I think that's because we're lower in the totem pole here. The words look good, but if we look here, you know, this one looks like it's going to be the hardest one, the B. We're going to have our own pictures, so we're going to have to show that. I do want to look at this article and get an idea of what I need to be. Okay, these are graphics. These are not pictures. I mean, they're pictures, but so they're showing how to create it. I think I've even went over this one before. I've seen this before. Cleaning the other parts. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't really think of doing that. So glad I looked through this. Wipe down, of course. Here's our how to clean a fog machine. We just got a big fog machine here and words. So I think I'm gonna take it as it shows here. The wording I think is good. I don't think it's gonna be a problem to hit that. Everything else looks good. Here I'm gonna scroll down to the terms. These are the terms that are recommended. So I can look through to make sure everything is adequate and there's no words in here that are kind of pointless. But from as I look through, it looks all right. Car, I don't know why car is in there. I think we'll remove car because that's kind of odd. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see some topics here. How do you clean a clogged haze machine? Well, that could be something we could use in uh, people always ask. We do have how to fix a clogged 
fog machine, but this one's a little different. Can you put water in a haze machine? And do haze machines leave residue? I have a lot of this stuff already, but I have full articles. So it's all right to make little FAQs and link to those other articles. So for now, I'll leave this here as suggestions. However, I don't think they're good topics to put. We will do uh, how to clean a fog machine. And again, that'll probably be as an FAQ because I want to diversify the two and make sure they know it. Now, do they really have to be split up? I don't know, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Cleaning the other parts, we're just going to choose this topic so it reminds me, but I don't think I'll forget. Ah, so we click that, it puts your headings in automatically. I'm going to control Z that because I don't really want that yet, but it is counting it already. Okay, so we will do that. I don't like having the keywords on the board until I'm ready, but that's fine. So the big difference between a fog machine and a haze machine is fog machine is for, you know, fog basically. And haze machine is going to go and make it more for lighting to be better. So you can use like laser lights and it's good for concerts and stuff like that. Anytime you're trying to really amplify your lighting. I'm not sure why that disappeared, but we got that there. I like to go through and scroll up here so I can see the keywords because this is a portion I'm really interested in. I'll hit adjust and I'll remove optimized terms. So basically what that does is I have how to clean a haze machine. It's in green. So I can uncheck that and it'll disappear. So anytime I get a term and I use it enough, it removes from my list. Now it will come back if you overuse it. So if you start putting too many times, they'll pop back up and then you gotta just be like, okay, slow down there. Okay, we've got started here. We got the title, we got a quick intro. It's not the most catchy intro in the world, but it gets to the point. Uh, we have what is a haze machine, just to make sure the search engines know what exactly is going on. I'm trying to diversify this from a regular, hog, a regular fog machine. So by kind of spelling it out here, I hope that does help. Then we're going to break out and how to clean a haze machine. Later, we're going to have some FAQs, which will probably be some of this. And we'll kind of mess with this later. Just do that. All right, I'll get started here. While I'm typing this, sometimes the sentences don't look amazing. That's because I'm going through here and pulling the terms as I see here. 
So sometimes to try to get it to work right, it, it gets a little harder. I'm noticing we do have a double here. So because of the H1 and H2, that is doubling it up. And you really don't want to have the title twice. So I need to uh, change this a better way. And the best way to do that is always take the terms and make them plural if you can, or you know, add an ing. We're gonna do cleaning haze machines, and we'll add steps. We'll just say five steps for cleaning haze machines. So this way we get not just haze machine in here, we get haze machines. Now with these titles, I'm just trying to put the keywords in the titles because I know we put keywords in text, but we also need to work on them in the headings. If we click headings, you'll get an idea of what they're looking for. And we could go to NLP as well. But you could kind of just know that I'm talking about cleaning haze machines. So what are different forms? You know, clean a haze machine, cleaning haze machines. These little things really help you get ranked higher because you're using different versions. Now in this one I'm talking about haze machines. I'm also going to throw the word fog machine in there a bit here and there too because I still need to get that used too. So I said five steps but I honestly don't know how many steps there are right now. We're just going to kind of go through and look. I've done it in five in this article here. So we could technically use the same thing All right, we're gonna continue using this. Clean it, we're just gonna fill it, plug it in, let it work.
Okay, quick update. We've done pretty well so far. I'm pretty satisfied with how this article's going. I do need another 250 words. However, I haven't done a snippet and I probably have another two sentences to add to final thoughts. I don't know what else I want to throw in here. I don't know if I want to leave this a little bare and not go too crazy with it because this is mainly just a supporting article and that's all it's going to be used for. I'm not going to push too much stuff directly to this. But let me give it another try, see if I can hit some more keywords. We're at an 83 score, which is amazing. I'm not really that worried about the score anymore because of how high we are. However, I'm still trying to look to see if there's other terms I'm missing because I don't mind throwing them in if it flows well. Plus, they give me ideas of what else I can continue to write. I think we're going to leave it here at 857 words. I'm pretty happy with this. I can't think of anything else to add at this point to give it more value. And again, people don't specify haze machine. They talk about fog machine. So if someone's specifically looking up haze machine, this article should rank and come up. I don't know if it really has much search traffic. To be honest, the point is really not to get a lot of eyes on this. It's to have a supporting page to my buyer's guides. However, I think the article is pretty good. And I think once I receive my Hayes machine tomorrow, I'm going to get started and I'm going to be doing lots of producing. I'm going to be making videos and I'm also going to be very foggy up in this room. <laughs> Should be interesting and I can't wait to try it out and do this new approach with Wild Fog. So next I will prepare this to go through and post. However, we're not going to post it today because I want to have my images first. We're going to go ahead and just duplicate how to clean a fog machine because it's very similar to that. So I won't have to worry about having different tags. Okay, there's a few articles I wanted to go ahead and link, so I'm going to do that quick. Obviously, we're doing best haze machine. I did hit the dense in the end here. Got that. We got clogged. Fog fluid expiration, got one on that. All right, so we have how to clean a haze machine. I think there was one other link I wanted, but I can't think of it at the moment. I'm gonna go through and space this out, make it look a little better.
I think we're going to bold this instead. And I think we're going to say it, uh, Hayes Machine Maintenance Tips. Maybe extra. Yeah, maybe extra. Other just doesn't sound right. Eh. I don't know. I'm torn. So the big thing with this, since it is a supporting article and I want it mainly for best haze machines, is I want to have the very first link to go to my best haze machines, which I have here. Now I'm questioning if I want to actually put it above table and contents and just put it here. I kind of think it works better right here because of, you know, where we're going with this. What is a haze machine? So I kind of think it's best there. So I might just leave it there and test it. I could always move it later. But now we're pretty set up here. We're good to go. All right, so let's just walk through it. Again, I'm adding pictures, so I would like to do all of this here. I do have distilled water, so that works. Cleaning, let the fog machine run, empty liquid out, clean your fog machine exterior. Yeah, I think it's really good. I wish I could publish it now, but... I want to get it perfect and get it set up right away. So I'll go ahead and have the link for the completed article. If you want to see all the pictures and images, I'll have that below.